Can You Believe? Last podcast on the left is going back on tour. The road leads to here. JK Ultra is coming to these North American cities. We got Denver, May 16th, Seattle, June 8th, Washington, D.C., July 13th, Chicago, Illinois, September 14th. October 16th, we got Boston, Massachusetts, November 2nd, right here in Los Angeles, California. And then on December 7th, we're going home to Brooklyn for a show at the King's Theater. Yeah, Brooklyn, baby. It's time for you to laugh again and open your fucking eyes. Yeah, at the same time. There's no place to escape to. This is the last talk. On the left. <laughs> Side stories? That's when the cannibalism started. Side stories. Yes. No. Hey, yeah. 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 Oh. 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 Yep. Come up. Come up. Come on. Hey, what up? Who did that? Come on. Yeah. Remnant. 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 Man, I just had the last like four or five days with my mother in law in town. Wonderful lady. I was yeah, she was very nice. I got to hang lady. with her. Yeah, she did a good job. You know, but you just forgot a mother in law's view of you is very specific. Dude, it's like, I feel like I have a new set of things I have to improve. You own a house. I know. It doesn't matter. Not to a mother-in-law. No. Because I, I feel mean, like no. if the mother, I love my mother-in-law. Yeah. But I feel like they look at the house and even that, they're like, but where's the second home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't you have a second home? I feel like I have to remind my mother-in-law that I'm a human. It's hard. That I'm like a person who exists. But you, but she also. They s- love the children. Yes, they love the, your, they love your, your nieces and nephews. Do you have nieces and nephews? Yeah, I just got, well, I got Bella. Okay. No, I'm talking one. about on, on the other side. No. No, wow. No, Natalie's brother's nothing. It's just us. Wow. It's just us. Maybe that's her problem. She realized she ain't getting shit. Actually, no, no, no. She doesn't have a problem. It's just more just like. It's just so hard because, I mean, obviously, we already have a college fund put aside for Carmi, mm-hmm. and it's hard to d- describe that to her yeah. because she starts crying and getting all weird about it. But I was like, no, I mean, like, do you want Carmi to go to the army? Yeah, yeah. Do you want her to have to go to Afghanistan or, or in the next fight that we have, like when we go to go fight France? Yeah, she's going to be an x-ray tech. Yeah. Like all chihuahuas. I mean, she, oh, I wish. Honestly, it'd also be nice if she could be on the tank squad. The tank squad? Tank <laughs> destroyers. Um, how's Rambo? You were also like, Rambo ate an entire taxidermied alligator head. Yes. Uh, my dog, Rambo, Black Lab Pit Mix, ate a entire taxidermy alligator head. I'd have to say the thing was like a foot long. I cannot even believe. I don't even know how the I, dog I, even I knew. I have blamed myself. I bought this as you a can't. gift. You literally can't. It smells like I was furniture. supposed to mail it out a year ago, and I didn't. Shout out to April, the um, the ex-editor of The Brighter Side. You know, I appreciate it. Was, this was supposed to be your alligator head. Oh, this is for April? I bought this alligator head for April. Oh, I thought this is from your alligator expert that no, you no. had on that's Brighter Savannah. Side. Savannah. No, that's just a friend. I love gators, by the way, if you couldn't tell by my demeanor. But, um, yeah, so I, I bought an, a, as a gift to April for editing all of the extra episodes of the brighter side for gator week last year yeah i bought her a gator head but you I never was, sent it to her i never sent to her because i'm lazy mm. and i kept asking her for her address and she kept sending it to me and i kept not mailing her this gator head you know because like part of me was like maybe i'll keep it but like the other part you know and that but i never got to it no and then now i'm moving and rambo i don't know we left him alone when we went to dinner with natalie's mom and uh he ate the alligator head because his dinner was a half hour late and he ate the entire alligator head. I just can't even believe. I uh, it's. I, I don't even know how he did it. This is side stories. I'm Henry Zabrowski. I'm sitting with Ed Larson. How you doing? What's going on? We're dealing with some personal trauma here. I so just, I've just been he, like sifting through his shit. You just shit. You're literally sifting through his shit, looking for alligator teeth. Like is, he is. You don't have to like, look for him. They're there. They're, they're, they are. They are. They are like. They are like <sighs> so much. And his shit has gotten so rock hard because he ate all like the whatever the fiberglass, whatever they stuff taxidermy alligator heads with. So it's like his poops are like dust. 
Whoa. right now. And so it's like, and like I that's was, all he has to do. Maybe I need to do that. My, no. Honestly, I went to, I was, I ate hard this weekend and I've been having nothing but grease. Yeah. But I've been, I've been feeding a bunch of pumpkin to him. You know, he got a, ate a little Vaseline, you know, to kind of like help the, Oh, did you do that push. thing with the Vaseline sandwich? Like Tyra Banks does. If they, if they, can they eat that? And it helps like move stuff through them. Uh, no blood. You know, I'm, I'm sure we're going to get lots of comments that my dog's going to die. So far, so good. Yeah, I mean, if he hasn't he's, died he's already. He's some crazy shit. There's no blood in the puke. He just is one of those. He's got a I wide fucking, Oh, my butthole. God. I like, fuck, I really do think he's got a wide butthole. His throat got, like, is it, wide. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. just I'm worried about his little intestines. Oh, of course, buddy. You know, well, like going through that. I Googled uh, what to do if your dog eats a taxidermy to alligator head, and it said get a better decorator. And you're like, uh, thanks very much, uh, Mr. For Cora. Honestly, Cora is just so sad. Uh, it, it is a, you know what's really hard? It really could have killed him. Though. Yes. Because all the bones I'm, are like cooked and splinter and shit. And I'm, I'm just I'm still not out of the woods. That he's okay. I'm just going to get right now. He's okay. He, he keeps just, puking. It's uh, Yeah, of course he keeps puking. He yep. ate an entire got, taxidermy alligator In head. the past two days, alligator teeth have come out of his mouth and out of his butt. Whoa. Uh, they've come out of both sides. Guess where he's never going again. Where? Florida. Florida. He's never been to Florida. I mean, they just you can't take him now. This is a Florida problem. This is Florida following me to kill my dog. It is literally is the like- revenge <laughs> of you <laughs> getting out. <laughs> is this happening to Rambo? Because I will say he did he did do do this to himself. Yes. It's sad that he would, but I'm glad that right now he's fine. He's eating lots of tampons. He's eating lots of stuff that should have killed right him. Right out of a woman. And they just go right. It is one of the worst. Man. To watch him do, we call it um when he gets his spaghetti because what he does is he sees the little string and he's like, like he's Lady in the Tramp. I guess it's like you guys watch that movie too much. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. We love it. I mean, I had this one time with him. I was My, my cousin was visiting me and uh, she had just she stayed with me for a couple of days mm-hmm. and uh, and then she went with her boyfriend or husband um, and then went took a little trip to Santa Barbara or whatever as you do when you're on vacation in LA. Of course. Um, she left the house for I think a total of like 40 minutes and then I'm just sitting there I'm with in the living room with our buddy Adam Wirtz and I'm just sitting there and then he walks out of the bathroom and then in front of Adam and I just spits out my little cousin's tampon cool that he found in the trash. Did you make Adam pick it up and throw it away because I would not have done it. I mean, like, this is now you got, this is a buddy thing you're going to have to do. I did it. I did it. I was very mad about it. Oh, yeah. So it's just, I'm sure this will be a very interesting way for her to find out about this this story, but you know, side stories, LPOTL at gmail.com. Are you Ed's relative that have the tampon come out of you? And go inside of Rambo. Oh, man. It's a tough situation. It really is all around. I got so mad at him. I'm like, man, I was like, out of everybody, like, I'll juggle, you know, strangers' tampons. But this. Oh, yeah. If it's Natalie's, I'll pick it up with my mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what it's I mean? A, I'll pick it up with my teeth. If it's my mother's, like, yeah. you know what I mean? First of all, it's like, how's that happening? Yeah. Because my mom's sure. got nothing but rocks. It's in been there gone. Now. Yeah, no, yeah. I was my mom's last period. Yeah, good work, bro. <laughs> Yeah. Drying her up. Mm. Now we got uh we got a lot of show today. Rambo's gonna be fine. Rambo's gonna be fine. Thank you for your concern pre many emails, I'm sure. Yeah, and also save those teeth. Um, you know, they're covered in shit. Or puke. Can we wash them off? Do you want I will save you the next batch, sure. I will bring them, I will I will bring them here and I'll put them right next to your haunted Ouija board and we'll conjure. The fucking dead alligator. <laughs> That'd be incredible. I would love to know this alligator story and his unfinished business. I never got to eat a giraffe. <laughs> My name is Melissa. Ah. <laughs> You've been misgendering me this entire time. All right, we got some updates. First of all, of course, Dungeons and Dragons brings out a lot of ire. People, the guy, the DM that wrote about the breakdown of Godzilla, mm-hmm. again referring to our Did he third write back decennial. Again? No, but other DMs wrote in response Were they... to his breaking down of the scenario of Godzilla versus 500, 400 birds. Yeah. And what would happen? Because then one DM said, oh, it was very possible for the birds to defeat Godzilla. And then we kind of talked about practically, like, sure, yeah, in your little child's game, the birds could maybe get Godzilla. But how are they going to get through the skin? We talked about this. In real life, we don't think it would be practical. We didn't think it was going to do it. But then a lot of DMs came out. Because I appreciated our first 
our first response from a DM. I love our DMs. I understand that's your job is to have I for detail. You're supposed to come figure out a way to tell these stories in a quantifiable mm-hmm. manner. So yeah. I thank you. But uh, you got a lot of flack. And I honestly think that you as a DM need to go and write your own little manifesto against other DMs. Because this is the response you got. Because uh, they said that there was Finally. a lot of nerd rage. Not at us. Not just us. It's not mad at us. I mean, we're always, everyone's slightly mad at us, but that's our job. Yeah. You know, that's my job as a comedian. Yeah. Is to make sure that at least a portion of the room is upset with me. Oh, of course. At any given time. Oh, Henry Hot Takes. That's what I got. I got to do it. Mm -hmm. Because what are you showing up here for what? This is the the palate cleanser that is Henry Zabrowski? No, no, no. Yeah. I'm an overbearing sensation. Yeah. I'm the, I'm the, I am the too much. You are over the edge, but at the same time, if it's the right amount, boy, <laughs> come to pants. <laughs> now this guy. Now what they say here is the counter argument: Godzilla's armor rating would be too high. Yes. Exactly. Godzilla would have considerable immunity to many types of damage. Absolutely, isn't he? Yeah, because he regenerates. Yeah, they feel like the bird's damage output would be too low to pose any substantial threat to Godzilla, and Godzilla's atomic breath would wipe out all birds, no matter how numerous. But according to our main researcher, Joel, who helps me with side stories, they wrote that in a much harsher and mean way. Really? Towards the person that had gave his original breakdown. Why are we sugarcoating it? Because, because again, I'm protecting We them. don't know any of these fucks. I'm protecting people. Okay? Because you have to understand, this is what we deal with as the internet. I know how to code through. I see your rage every day. I see people's rage writing in every day. And I also know, so I know I have to decode. You're just feeling this in the moment. Mm -hmm. You obviously, you got your penis caught in your zipper this morning. Yeah. Anything could have happened. Anyone who's actually mad can go fuck themselves. No one's actually mad. Yeah. It's just fun to do in a full on. I love love yelling for yelling's sake. My whole life. It's my whole life. I love it. Um, So that was one little pushback. So, but I, you know, we, we kind of broke that down. DMs understand everybody works with different rule sets. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, that's what a bit of the big breakdown was a lot of like, oh, but in this edition, it'd be different, you know, and in this edition, it would be different because D&D has been kind of updated and mutated over the years. Yeah. No, I, I was, I always think of like, whenever I hear DM, I always think of like sliding into your DMs mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And then, you know, so I was like mad that it's like they kind of like cross over and I get confused when I hear it. But Obviously, no one is sliding into a DM's DMs. You never know, because sometimes there's sexy ladies and there's sexy dudes. And you'd be, you'd be surprised if people want to get into a good campaign. Yeah. What would happen to a DM? Side oh stories, LPOTL at gmail.com. What's the sexiest way someone tried to join your D&D game? If anyone's hot in playing D&D, like, it's got to be, like, a boring game. No, it's a lot of people. We're going to get pushed back a, immediately. If you're attractive, I already feel I don't it. think I Rob is saying it. too. A lot of people want to see an LPN D&D game, uh, we, 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 we one day. I think we're ugly enough. We are, we are, but you'd be surprised <laughs> that a lot of attractive people in the game, shit has changed, Eddie. Yeah. Shit's changed. There's I think, more fuckable I think, nerds across the board. But if you're good looking, you're less interesting. Always. Yeah. But it depends on how you're good looking. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Where like, I like you always got to be 5% jacked up. To me, that's what makes you sexy. Oh, if you're just like all fucked up on weird like creatine and shit? No. I'm just saying like, no, I think like, that's dumb. I'm saying that like to be hot, uh-huh. you have to have a, to be truly hot and sexy yeah. versus beautiful. Is you have to be five percent jacked up. Yeah, you gotta have a jacked up. Yeah, hot's that, got, and that's hot's what makes got you a six pack. Beautiful has a flat belly, right? No, opposite. Beautiful really? has a six pack. Absolutely, hot is more flawed but better. That's really? how I view it. Wow, it's hot and sexy is more quote unquote flawed, but you're better. You're more fun. Like someone with a snaggle tooth. Yeah, like or like Trisha Arquette's hot. Yeah. Or is she sexy? Sex, both. I'm just saying, but also I view her as beautiful. She is but beautiful. I, but this is a great breakdown. People are going to love this. Yeah. They're going to be so <laughs> excited about this. I'm just saying there's a difference. And obviously, Eddie and I know. Yeah. Because if you look at us, everyone always asks me, like, how, what's the taste level of beauty in the room? And you just see us do like, hi. Yes. Can I come in from outside? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's we learned a lot today. A little, yeah, we both married giant redheads that can kick the shit out of us. I, we both <laughs> are way. Out, we are both punching way outside of our weight class when it comes to our our significant others, and it's because again, it's about being funny. And because guys, it's about being funny. Girls, do you want to be? It's like the two Mexicans. It's like a funny man is on one side and like a hot lady is on the other side. Yeah. And then all of them in between, whatever the fuck it is you are. I don't fucking know what you are. 
So whatever you are, if somebody wants to fuck you, congratulations. All right, so let's go have we another fucking update. It's about sky shit. Oh, thank God. Now, this is a this is another one. If shit dropped out of the flying plane, mm-hmm. this is, I, we asked a question about physics. Would it continue to travel at the same speed it was traveling when it was ejected from the plane? Objects in motion tend to stay in motion. Now, this is according to somebody, right? Now, the shit would not be as aerodynamic as the plane. And depending on the yeah. shit, it would not have as much mass as the plane. Therefore, it would encounter wind resistance and begin to slow down immediately. Yeah. Not keeping pace with the flying plane. Yeah, because it'd be air going whipping past it. Yes, thus making it look like it was shooting backwards. Because that's how I said, is it fly backwards? That's how, that's kind of what I meant when it was flying backwards. So I'm smarter than the way I sound. The same rules apply in the example. If you are a passenger in a car not wearing a seatbelt and the car suddenly stops from a high rate of speed, you will fly forward through the windshield because you are an object in motion and you will stay in motion until external forces stop that motion. We're also, learning. if you're in the back seat, wear your seatbelt. Wear your seatbelt. Because you know, you're going you're gonna to go over the seat in front of you and bash the person in the back of the head. I unfortunately, that is one of my renegade David Icke stances I have lost over the years. You gotta have to wear the seatbelt. Gotta wear the seatbelt. Unfortunately, I I wish I wish I could be for freedom. I wish I could be for freedom. It's not freedom because you're taking away someone else's freedom by doing it. But you're taking away your your freedom to become a ghost. Yeah. By putting on a seatbelt, which is you know, so that's what we'll see here at last podcast. And that's that's an official message. Buckle up, you fucks, you fucking pieces of shit. Also, would say here we got some insider knowledge on that uh, Buffalonian house. Getting okay. hit with shit. Oh, because I don't buy it. So my sister works for the city and was slightly involved with the poop mystery. So I asked her about it. My sister said the wastewater treatment department tested it to be sure, and it was poop. And we're seeing that it was blue. Whoa. Lastly, the lady was home the one time it happened and heard the poop hitting her house from above. So with info, does it change your opinion on it actually being plain poo-poo? Sort of. Because also I got a, b- a bit of a breakdown too because, well, we I don't know, because it's because Rob, right after, we looked it up and there was a bunch of other, like, I guess right here, there's 27 documented incidences of blue ice impact. Right? Yeah. So we call last time we realized that p- shit from a plane was called blue ice. Yeah. Now these incidents typically happen under airport landing pads as the mass warms su- sufficiently to detach from a plane during its descent. So they do dump it because they don't they have like a little lake before a lot of uh, runways where they dump it. Is that their outside? Is that an airport outside toilet? Did I just ruin everything? I don't no. know. Side stories, <laughs> LPOTL at gmail.com. How do planes go to the bathroom? <laughs> like, how do they dump it out? Where does it go? And so, but this is shit that's like, you know, in 1971, a chunk of ice from an airplane tore a large hole in the roof of the Essex Street Chapel. Um, That was huge. Chunk of ice the size of an orange Man. broke through the roof of a private house in Rontgen Ra- in Germany. In February 2013, a football-sized ball of blue ice smashed through a conservatory roof in Clanfield, Hampshire, causing around 10,000 pounds worth of damage. Now, there's a lot. You're just saying that it, it, it does happen, but these... In, our, in my mind, when I was thinking of blue ice catastrophes, it was shit like this. like Because you know how yeah. like, something like five meteorites hit the earth and it's always poo-poo like no. dirt no 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 <laughs> but like how like a, a meteorite will fall from the sky like have you ever seen the stories of someone saying how like a, a rip through their house or rip through their car or like a literal thing from space yeah that that happens a lot but i was kind of assumed that damage from blue ice would be more like that like this but no. it seems like maybe maybe it could have just been a screw was loose yeah and that meant the poo was loose. Whoa. So who knows? I don't know what it means. I don't know anything else about the waste containment of of airplanes and what they do. Man, I would say that the chances of an airplane shitting on this woman's house three times is insane. Someone's I mean, playing a joke on her at this point. And if it is a pilot that has that pinpoint accuracy. I want to meet him. Um, sign him up. That would be that's where he's that's who's got to be going and doing our strafing. Yeah, and the over in that you know Afghanistan. Yeah, no, we gotta get him. Yeah, dude, because we gotta because we need more accuracy, so we have less citizen. Like this is what we need. Yeah, smaller bombs, smaller poop one bombs. bomb per person. Yeah, I think one bomb they can go down and just blow up one guy. Yeah, we should start dropping grenades instead of missiles. I think that's a fun idea. Yeah, I think it's a fun idea. You know what I think would actually maybe help us. Break some people down instead of bombs or guns whatsoever altogether. Bones dropped, drop bootleg copies of Madame Web. 
all over <laughs> Afghanistan. Break them down. They'll feel sorry for us. Eventually, yeah. they will be like, maybe America's not so great. Maybe America actually, we should actually give America a break. So yeah, we have left Afghanistan and cry rack. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get that tattooed on us um all right i have that that so there's a bit of an update meteors have crashed through houses yes multiple times it has happened may oh it just happened a 2.2 pound uh meteorite went through a house it happens may 8th and where's this in jersey i don't know beware the skies Scientists even are- they I've confirmed Can that the meteorite is from outer space and estimated to be 4.56 billion. This is actually a great thing that happened to this person. I think it's cool. That meteorite is worth more than the entire house. Oh, very much so. They're going to end up getting well, but you know, they're they're from Jersey. They're would you up- sell it or would you keep it? Oh, I'd sell it. Right? Yeah. It's like, you know, it's like the home run ball. You yeah, know, like I definitely the, like the Barry Bonds ball. You sell it. Yeah. yeah. I would love to sell that. Now, does she now this meteorite crashes through a house? She now owns this meteorite. Okay. It's yeah. probably worth, we'll just call it a million dollars. All right. Well, it's a 2.2 uh, pound meter, right? Well, I'm going to call it a million dollars. Now, does her fucking immediately, not only is there 50 cents per gram. Per gram. That's it? Yep. For meteorite? Apparently, it's a lot more common than you think it is. Really? Just yeah, chunks I thought so. Chunks of outer space everywhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 50 cents per gram. 40, it's and like, go up to it's $40 same, per gram. It's the price of weed? Yep. Yeah. It's fucking, yeah. A thousand dollars? It's shake from the universe. Rare stones can yeah, fetch a thousand dollars. So that one's like billions of years old. But depends on what the quality, though. It's still funny. It's still about whether or not you can turn it into a necklace. Yeah. And what, there's 16 grams in an ounce, and there's 16 ounces in a pound. And that's the math that being a drug dealer <laughs> teaches you. And that's incredible, because I don't know anything about that system. <laughs> Do you know if you're trying to recalibrate your weed scale, um, you put 10 nickels on it. Because that's half a because that's um that's half an ounce. Wow. Yeah. See, it's yeah. practical. Yeah. Or is it I forget what it was, but there was exactly that's how you uh ten nickels you can uh you could recalibrate your weed scale. That's incredible. Well, yeah. you learn. You yeah, guys yeah, learn yeah, again, yeah. we're learning today. And th- so we now know nothing else about the five, poop five grams, five grams. Five that's grams. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's incredible. Well, good work. No problem. Uh, but now we will get into it. So we did these <laughs> updates. I have one more little update here. Uh, the sh- the poop mystery is not solved. I think it's probably closer to no. I guess I because it doesn't sound like it's a full on blue eyes dump. Yeah, but something happened, and I don't know where it came from. Someone's pranking this woman. Can you shit in a helicopter? Absolutely, you can shit anywhere. But I don't know. I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> is there a is, is there, there a, a bathroom? Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Because I don't know whether or not it can there be maybe a like small a giant, amount of shit. Maybe like a giant helicopter that you put like 20, 30 people on. Be oh, like, like a like something where you're taking of like a fucking uh, like a small battalion over to take over a city or something. Like oh, one yeah, of those yeah. might have it. Of course. Most helicopters do not don't have, have toilets. toilets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess if you're over the ocean at just one big toilet and you just hang your butt out the side. Yeah, pee off the side. Yeah, you know, um, shoot guns off the side. That'd be so much fun. God, I wish I could. Shoot a gun off the side of a helicopter? That's all I want to do. Fuck you. You know, I feel like because recently I've been sort of like down to the dumps, mm-hmm. and I think that would make me feel better. You know what I would love to get my hands on? A buddy of mine went to war when we were in college, mm-hmm. and he asked me to make him a, a kill a kill people playlist. I remember when you and said I made listen him, to yeah, that. I made a playlist. CD. Yeah, yeah. I, I I do remember the first one was Children of the Grave. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah, Black yeah, Sabbath. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Children of the Grave, and then you also did it was the uh, the I'm going to. Into little it's one of these days. Yeah. yeah. One of these days, I'm going to cut you into little pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a fucking sweet. <laughs> nope. dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that was fucking good, dude. <laughs> wonder where that guy is. Oh, he's fine. I still hang out with him. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's doing great. He's got a new dog. Not killing? No, he very much against it. Oh, very much. Yeah, oh, very... is that the guy that brews our d- d- delicious beers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. He makes these delicious wine like beers. He's, he's got a, a life of peace. He's sworn a life of peace. That's so, you see, that's all you got to do is kill a couple of people. That's what I'm saying. Let me get it out of my system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll be ready <laughs> to finally experience peace. Right from your grave. Now, remember the lady that you said you thought was nice? Yeah, she's great. Now, the jailed Ohio woman explains why. She drove a dead man's body to bank to withdraw cash. But I will say, it's not really an explanation. This is Karen Cash Bombs. She's the one with the beagle eyes, not the rat eyes. The from Karen, last week's Karen story. Karen was the cool one. To you. To she, me, yeah. Karen was... If you were going to pick one to hang out with, which one would you pick? 
Honestly, it would be... No, it is Karen. I'm seeing the two of them together because the other one was Laureen Ferralo. Ferralo? Ferralo. And she, yeah, she is uh, She is frowning. Um, the other one, it just looks like she's kind of lost and and, and, and scary. They're, they're both frightening. But they these are the two uh, lovely women that use the corpse of their living. I'm going to still say boyfriend, Douglas Lehman, mm-hmm. who was 80 years fun. They used his corpse to go and take the last remaining $900 he had out of his bank account uh, because the bank only, has I let them realize, do it before. I didn't realize it was only 900 bucks. Just yeah, give buddy. it to him. Nothing. Well, let me just put this, this guy on. owes them $900 for dying in their house. Do you ever think that one of these relationships with an 80 year old and two 65 year olds that he's maybe doing some kind of thruple with Dude, old in a trailer people home. live together. But do you think that they have more? The $900 is his life savings. Yeah. That's the most money he's ever had ever. That's his money. They're, none of these people are ever going to turn out to be worth a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Ever. Especially if they tell you, so you don't that they're worth th- a lot of money. You don't think these ladies deserve that 900 I think that they... No, I think for what they did, they honestly, they, they put a lot of work in. So they, she was immediately recorded. Um, so she was on, on the uh, the Ashtabula jail about her involvement in the death of eighty year old man of eighty year old Douglas Lehman. And so they asked her. They were kind of like, "What? Why did you do that?" Um, an identified an unidentified family member asked Cosbaum when Lehman died. She responded, "Oh, he died when I said he died." Cosbaum, who was wheelchair bound. Also allegedly told her family member that Layman's body was too heavy for Ferralo to hold, so the two women decided to ask a male friend to help them. Oh! So there's a third person in here that we don't know where that person is at. Wild. Um, the relative asked, why, Cosbom? why, Karen, did you not just go to the police when your friend died? And Cosbom says, I just figured I'd go to the bank and then to the hospital and drop him off. I just forgot to leave his name. And there, the family member said, he died before you went to the bank, dude. I know, Cosbom replied. Yeah. So they, uh, they're they basically, there was no explanation why. Uh, essentially, she they said- She saved the EMTs the trip. She God. brought the guy to the hospital. So you're saying that this is- How much is an ambulance ride? This is More a, than 900 bucks. I I'll still find it much. dubious. She's saving money. I still find it dubious. Um, oh, it's she, not, you know, it's not good. No, I. (laughs) Where is this person? Where is this third person? I want them to come forward. No. Um, They are both being uh, charged with gross abuse of a corpse. Uh, Yeah, she's looking like slob zombie. She could use some beach wave. You know what I mean? She needs some of that stuff that you spray in her hair and it looks like you've adjusted the beach. Uh, They are not. uh, Yeah, so she did not. She's looking more like Claudia Osborne. (laughs) (laughs) Um, They uh, are not. uh, They're not really saying much. And it does. I still believe that they. We've had a lot of chatter from people sending emails, and I think all of us agree. If I am getting boned out that these last two women on the fucking. Like. Just let them have the money. Are people? They, I don't read the emails. Are people mad at me? No. Or do they agree? No. No. With no, me? no. 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 Mostly people are saying like they must have had. They probably had an arrangement. No one was looking for this money. It seems yeah. like he probably said at some point he was like, "When I die, take my corpse to the bank." He probably said those words. Yeah. At some point, um, he should have just wrote down the fucking pin code, and they could have just taken his guy. He already did. They've been they've been going to the bank for him. For months. Well, they still needed his face there. I guess they didn't because they actually, they were known quantities at the bank. Yeah. So, you know, I, you know, I feel like, how do we put this? These two women Mm -hmm. were maybe, there was probably many opportunities for there to be a conversation about boundaries. Yeah. And no one really sat and had it, including the bank manager. Yeah. They let him sort of do banking for another man. That they got to know for a long time. Do we find out so, what kind of bank it is? I uh, is it like a Wells Fargo or is it like a is it like a credit union? Where where you is this? Don't want I I don't know. <laughs> I don't think we want the empty drive through bank. That was the the where is this bank? Yeah. Yeah, I, it doesn't say. Yo, so that oh, means it's a big one. That yeah, means it's yeah, like yeah. a Chase or a Bank of America. Yeah, they do not say where the bank was. Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing really. Bank of America. Hey, you know, but the, I do understand you're supposed to work with your local people and help as a bank. You're supposed to help, mm-hmm. you know. But they should, probably should have. They, they basically said, we put his corpse in the car, took him in a bank in a lackadaisical manner where they assumed they would eventually get him to the hospital. 
Yeah. So this is the problem. And they did do that. No. They, they brought him to the hospital. No, it's after they called the police that they were like, we think he's dead in the car when he when they came to the bank. Oh, I thought they just dropped him off at the hospital. No, 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 no. And what, no. the cops were like, bring him to the hospital? Or they were like, stay right they there? They got to the hospital and they're like, okay, we're going to need to check this out for a second. Mm. Um, All right, so let's get to some other stories. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about old ladies, so might as well talk about cats. Yeah, sure. Yeah, um, there's there's a lot of cat news this week. You know, when I, you know, What's nice, truly nice, is that we do have several animal crime related stories this week. Not one of them is about fucking them. None of them are fucking these animals. I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. This is so nice. Yeah. Because it's so hard to not do one of these stories. Because they're always, it always ends up, and then he started fucking the cat. It's so funny because, like, you want to be like, I don't want to tell this story. I'm sick of talking about people fucking, but then it's always so interesting. But the thing, and you're like, well, I mean, well, now we're here. These details are kind of fun. Yeah. (laughs) Um, (laughs) But no one's been fucking these cats, but people have been shaving them. These, this is a really weird story. The Phantom Cat Shaver, this comes from Daily Mail. The Phantom Cat Shaver. So you know it's legit. Oh, my God. It's so funny. I, I read Daily Mail all day long and just, like, yell at it. It's yeah. so funny because it's so <laughs> awful. But the Phantom Cat Shaver strikes again as dozens of owners across the UK claim that their pets have been targeted. I want to hear from our UK listeners. I'd love to know. I, I'd I, love I, to has know. Has your cat been somebody. shaved? Have you heard about this happening? Um, but, yeah, the Phantom, it's uh, it, the shocked residents in Lambourne in Hungerford have been taken to social media to warn the feline haters return after claiming their beloved pets have been mysteriously shaved. Now, it's really weird. It happens in the night, apparently. Yeah. The people, they've been waking up to their, and one of these, I would say, like, one's got a stripe on its back that is shaved off, which is but really it's like, strange. it's bigger than, like, a razor. So it looks like they've had to have, like, got them A couple twice. of times. A couple they have times. to be able to, like, a cat has to like him a little bit for him to get this much done. And the what, the part that really truly disturbs me mm-hmm. is the one where they shaved it, the pussy's pussy. Yeah, they shaved they, its belly. No, well, shaved the pussy. If you look, the pussy's still hairy. I hate that. It's the belly. I'm not looking. I mean, but look right there. That's where that's where the cat's vagina but is. Still, it shaved. It shaved it. its pubic hair. Essentially, it's it shaved belly it, it, hair. But it, 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 put the nipples free. I just want to see the nipples. It shaved. This is just not a way I want to see an animal. Yeah. First of all, there's a horrible picture that I'm yeah. looking at. It's just a cat's <laughs> open wide vagina. I wish that it wasn't shaved. Yeah. Because uh, again, I I'm just looking at this. I'm upset. You know, I don't want you to be a Rosario Dawson. Yeah. As my pet. No. You know, I want to have, you know, and not that I think that this is sexy. I don't think it's sexy that its vagina is shaved, but I think that it's inappropriate. Yeah. Because then part of me wonders, is the call coming from inside the house? Well, I mean, if you're in Southeast Britain, that's where it's mostly happening. But no, I'm saying if you're shit, who can get close enough? I honestly, I don't think I could get close enough to shave Wendy's pussy. You got I I think we're like we should be looking into like people who work for like their version of the ASPSA, PCA. How do you say the, those letters together? A A A A S P C A. Now my question: Cats and dogs, people. The cats, dogs, people. So you're saying that it's an inside job? I don't. From one of the very large animal welfare, you gotta be good with cats in order to get one to shave it. I agree. I agree. I think that you gotta you be, to, or you you're gotta the be, most gentle yeah. barber that's ever been. I couldn't imagine Side stories, trying L-P-O-T-L. to tie down a cat. How Side stories L P O T L at gmail.com. If you've ever shaved a cat, do you live in the LA area? Will you help me shave me? Shave <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. How do you do this? Well, like, so there's been like 217 uh, incidents, they think, of individual places, and then um, recorded 100 incidents. And so like 100 people have uh, reported it to the police, mostly in Southeast Britain. There has been w- one in Scotland. There's been one rogue cat shaving. <laughs> Maybe he was on vacation. <laughs> I can only imagine that the people carrying out these attacks are doing it for their own self gratification or some kind of cheap thrill. Yeah. It's not running a Camaro. <laughs> Personally, I think they are sick and need to be caught as quickly as possible because this is one of these crimes. Well, what, what does it matter, though? What do you mean? What does it matter if you shave a cat? So you would be fine 
if someone broke into your house in the middle of the night and these, shaved these around Rambo's asshole. These people aren't breaking in the houses. These are these are indoor outdoor cats. So this is part of like you're putting your cat out there. What if you had a daughter? Uh huh. And a man came in in the night while she was in you're her dorm. You're talking about a different thing here. I'm just saying if you, if you had a daughter. Uh huh. And you're you and you don't know what her bush, bush style is. You're 69 years old at this point. Yeah. Right. You know because you haven't had a kid since you were 51. Yet. Yeah. yeah. Not yet. And so, she, but she goes off to college, which is the same version of being. That's a human version of being an indoor outdoor cat. Yeah. Right. And so, like in the middle of the night, someone just shaved a stripe of her bush off. I mean, you slap them to death. It's a human being. It's a cat. It's a totally different situation. But someone goes. This this is a bigger issue. There's something else going on. You, if I have an indoor outdoor, this isn't a dog, bestiality story, but it's right next to it. Um, I think it's just it's definitely interesting. What if there's like, are we sure they're shaving it? Is there some kind of like weird look at tick? it? Yeah, they they look shaved. That's a shaved spot. Yeah, it's another another little patch off. There's an old patch here that's shaved off. Mm-hmm. Gizmo came home and it looked like she'd been shaved in the top of her back leg. Yeah, Vet says there's no chance that the bald patch occurred naturally. People so have been a- said that she must have been involved in a cat fight, but the hair is out by the root, so it's very blatant she was shaved. Yeah. There was a while ago, uh, there was an incident when an elderly lady was shaving cats going into her garden to punish them. She was spoken to by police and said she stopped, so it's uh, it's not her. So there Which is like this one comment. Cats fur coats are beautiful and make cats so nice to stroke and cuddle. I mean, if you, if you, there's one lady <laughs> holding a shaved cat that looks like. Well, she looks like the, she, she got the haircut at the same place. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's, she, she's fine. That's scary. That's a very bad shave. That's a bad, that, that one's bleeding. So this person deserves to be beaten. What is going on here? Guys, I don't know what the what the the end game is because whenever I hear these weird stories uh, uh, that we talk about on the show, I always like to like envision the end game. Of course, like what's what? Like, why are we doing bono? It? We ask the question all the time: Who benefits? Yeah, in this scenario, why would you shave the cat? Besides, I don't think just anyone being, benefits. Is it like Banksy? Also, with like anyone who has like a bunch of scratches on their arm, suspect. But I know, yeah, definitely. You know, there's no way they're these people are getting away scot free, especially but the also. Would you hear the cat in the night? I mean, cats fucking fight in the night all the time. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> like, Wait, uh, oh, some of these don't have balls. I'm looking at them. Look, they got neutered. Yeah, of some course. Some of these are neutered, so they're not out there fucking and fighting. Well, they fight. Yeah, it's That's true. That's for damn sure. Wow. Well, yeah. Um, someone else, uh, Tammy Callum's cat Flo was shaved after going outside in New Costlery, Cossel- Norfolk. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Nailed uh, it. She... she she said that uh, she came back looking like she'd been shaved in a square shape. You could tell it's not from being scratched or bit. You can clearly see the square shape yeah. where the clippers clipped her fur. I just don't understand why people would do this to Wow, her. it's all over Coast to Coast AM. Wow, it made it to Coast to Coast AM. Hell yeah. That's it, huge. Look at that. People why is that? Now you're showing a... What I love is that the picture that they're using as an example but is a cat on a newspaper. It is a cat on a newspaper in which he is demonstrating... He's holding a razor like next to it. When you shave a cat. <laughs> so we gotta go talk to this guy. Who it's is, a Getty image. Who is... is they're Getty selling image? this? Who is selling this? What... For what premiere is this picture? This is literally, it's just a picture of a man shaving a patch yeah. into a cat's back. <laughs> what does this do? Well, the RSPCA is urging pet owners to be vigilant and report any incidents of the cat shaving to the, uh, to the, uh, Charity or the police. Now, what is the other cat story? We have this. This is one cat crime. This is one cat crime. There's three cat stories. Actually, it may even be like leaking in the four. Um, this one happened Just in, two, two. Just two, two. This one, it happened in East Haven. Um, armed intruders. Wait, so this is also British? Um, I believe so. It just says East Haven. This is Connecticut. Connecticut. Okay, okay, okay. Connecticut, yeah. They all the same. Uh, they all sound the same. Well, they're all taken from the same names. You know, you know where old York is? Over there. <laughs> What's called York. Yes. Um, our, our intruders <laughs> break into East Haven home looking to steal an expensive cat. Now, this is apparently, this type of crime this is on is the a rise, crime. too. This, this is a real crime. The other thing is, like, it's as I mean, a nuisance. It's not a crime. It's not. It's not not a crime, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not a major crime. 
It's not abuse, is it? It is. You think so? It had it, if the cat with blood and the clippers got to nick the skin. Abuse. Side stories lpotl at gmail.com. I think this is a very gray area. There's a lot of people that are going to attack, and we're going to find out exactly it's why very, it's a crime. It's a very tabby area. But it is. God. <laughs> I just think that straight up, I will say, frowned upon. Oh, definitely frowned upon. No one likes it. But I'm talking about legal recourse. What? Are, so I want to know, a barrister out there, I want to know, what is the crime that you would, I guess it would be abuse of an animal, but we, animal, we'll find it out. Would be, it would be animal abuse. But now the idea of stealing a, a very fancy cat. Yeah, so this person, they live in these apartment buildings. There, bad stuff's always happening in these apartment buildings, by the way. Half of this article is about how awful these apartment buildings are. Yeah, I don't but, think they're um, good. But, but someone broke in, they won't, they didn't say what type of cat it was, but someone broke into someone's house around 3.45 p.m. last week, and uh, they told the victim told police that two males tried to get in through the rear sliding door and attempted to get the, and they attempted to get the suspects out. One kicked through the glass. Jesus Christ. And then Christ. once inside, the suspect pulled out guns and demanded the residents high dollar value cat. Now, I don't understand what cat flipping is going to do. Yeah. I looked up cat breeds. By most expensive breeds. Mm -hmm. And I guess the one is, I don't know how you pronounce it, but the Ashera cat, which looks sort of like a little leopard. And it's a mixture of like, it's, it's like a good looking cat. It's an African serval, an Asian leopard cat, and a domestic cat, I guess, all fuck. Yeah. It's a it's a real good there's you a, gotta take him to you gotta take him out to a nice yeah, restaurant. Ashera, or something. $75,000 to $125,000. $125,000 the cat. Now my question is, yeah. Like how you know, say the second that you drive off the lot. Mm -hmm. that car depreciates, right? So that's why, you know, like it's hard. If you get a fancy car, right? As soon as you drive it off the lot, you're going to smell, you're going to end up selling it for less yeah. than what you got it for. You got an Ashera cat. Mm -hmm. It's been shitting in a box and doing stuff. Like, does it not lose money? Don't um, you want a fresh one? I think if it's under 10, it's still got to be pretty expensive. You don't think that if it's been pet a bunch, does it lose a bunch of, doesn't lose some quality? No, if anything, it, it gains quality because it's better with humans. You think so? Yeah, I do. But I don't think people are buying it because they're, they're not, you're not going to buy a $125,000 cat because mm -hmm. it's good with kids. That no. makes no sense. No, you're doing, you're single. You, or, or you're just, you just have too much money. You're a Saudi yeah. millionaire, billionaire. You just don't know what to do with your money. I think, cause they think they, they, they let people like about the Ashera cat is that it looks like a lemur or something, but it's got like a nice vibe and yeah. like it's, it's chill or whatever, but still it doesn't matter. It's $125,000 for a cat. So you're not doing it for practical reasons. No, you're showing the cat off. No, for sure. It's like buying a Picasso. But I think even Picasso is worth more than a hundred twenty-five thousand dollar cat. I have no idea. I just what's the difference between that cat and a normal ass cat? Nothing. Exactly. It might be a little cooler, but a little how, but if you go, it to, looks it's a fuck good looking cat. But if you're taking a cat to go hedge it, right? If you're yeah. taking a cat down to a guy to launder the cat, yeah, you're not going to lose money in the exchange. It seems weird, but like animals of theft of pets have, have gone up. Now, I remember this always being an issue with dogs. You know, people well, stealing dogs all the time. Lady Gaga's dog walker got like shot and robbed. Yes. For the, for the dog. Yeah. Like, I just don't understand in the cat flipping and dog flipping business. Mm -hmm. Like, how does one do that? Like, because I feel like they're chipped, obviously. They, we know where they are. Not all cats or dogs are chipped. But unless it's a, if it's a purebred, if you go, I don't know. Side story del potl Does your cat com. lose value if it is chipped? That's, but I I don't know. What is an Athera cat? New type of cat. Oh, that's what it is. It's a brand new cat. Oh. So the reason why it's expensive is that it's through Lifestyle Pets, which is based in California. Latest designer pet for feline aficionados. What is this shit? Oh, yeah. Only 100 cats are sold each year. And a secret domestic cat breed. What is this? KFC? It's a secret ingredient. Half of the cats are sold to Americans and the other half are sold overseas. Whoa. And they said that according to this website, it also claims to be the largest domestic cat. These guys can weigh as much as 30 to 40 pounds. That's dangerous. And can measure up to four feet tall while standing on their hind legs. That's, that's a lot of pussy cat. That's a lot of pussy cat. That's, that's what it says at the very end. That's what it says there. Yeah. But the uh, I, I <laughs> think uh, now that I know the cat's so big, I could see it being worth more money. What do you mean, like by the pound? Yeah, like it's we're gonna take it to Arts Deli. I think a Great Dane is worth more than a Chihuahua. 
No. Yes. I don't think so. Yeah, it is. Why would it not? Chihuahuas are fucking in the streets. They form gangs. Well, I think a great thing could be in the It'd be in the streets. No, it can't. It would just die. <laughs> it would just die from eating cans. It would, it would, it would <laughs> the guys All didn't right. find the cat and steal it, by the way. They got away and they got caught. So. Well, you know, it's still $1,000 to $2,000 for a Great Dane puppy. It's a purebred puppy. Um, a, How much money is a chihuahua? Looking at this. What's nice about chihuahuas, they live almost twice as long as a Great Dane. Yeah. Because their parts are too strong. And they're too... Good. I understand that you're a Chihuahua owner, so I'll be nice. But I mean, come on, what are we doing here? But the same, they're cost about the same amount of money. A, a designer Chihuahua is also about a thousand dollars to twenty five hundred. If anyone spends a thousand dollars on a free Chihuahua, I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. But if I, anyone I know, like, how much was Carmi? Nothing. Exactly. Yeah, they're free. Well, yeah, we Chihuahuas got we saved are, a rescue. Chihuahuas dog. are free. Well, any dog's free. Not any dog. Well, I'm just saying certain it's hard dogs to are free. Find, I mean, Rambo but was hundred and six dollars. But what is the point of a purebred? Well, Besides, just to either watch off. it because you're showing off or you're watching it. Fuck a lot of like the, you're like you're at Club Silencio. A lot of purebreds are inbred. Yeah, of course, a lot of purebreds are in, and so they're worse. Oh yeah, they're all jacked up. They yeah. got bad, bad leg, bad legs. You know what I mean? They'll fucking they'll shoot up a school. Yeah. I'm on um, catster.com right now. Oh, yeah? And um, they, it's eight cat breeds that get stolen the most often with pictures. Uh, number one, Bangle Cat, um, the domestic uh, short hair. No one's stealing these, um, these uh, what, what are they called again? Ashire Cats? Cheshire Cats? Ash- no, yeah, you can't steal them because they are they steal in the, in the man, near in the imaginary world. They smoke a lot of weed. Yeah, the, the Man Coon, the Ragdoll stolen a lot, the Russian Blue. The Siamese cat stolen a lot. Yeah, people steal cats. The Sphinx I just, cat, the hairless cat. I just want to know about. I want to know more about animal flipping. I want to know hey, it, why, why you do this. Where does the money come from? Dogs, Who do you sell I understand to? because like you, you, they're the same though. I honestly, I can see why we are dog people. So I cut, but they are just as well, rare. A lot of times, no one. There aren't cat fighting rings. There are dog fighting rings. There must be cat fighting rings. There has to be cat fighting rooms. We know about cat juggling. There has to we be. We learned about that in the jerk. Down in the lesbian underground. Mm-hmm. Right? Amongst the, like, because I'm certain God, that they I have the same. I would love to get in into the lesbian underground. Nothing would make me more excited. Because there thought, has to be. By the way, be... lesbians take a lot of shit for being grumpy. and mad. I love you, lesbians. I think you're the best. Do they? I love the party. Eddie, is that true, Rob? Is it, Rob? Do lesbians take a lot of shit for being grumpy? For being bad? After having is bad that what he's saying? Is, stuff. Is that I'm saying what he, they do. I've heard it. Is that what? I'm have you heard that? For him. I don't know. I've, I've never heard that. Oh, have you heard that? <laughs> you're putting him on the spot. He ain't going to fucking fess up to it. I'm just saying that seems to be almost like a backhanded compliment in a way. It's not saying, a backhanded oh, compliment. I've heard, oh, I've just heard. I'm sticking heard. up for these people. But it's more like saying, oh, like, I'll apologize for Henry for fucking being an asshole, even though I'm just sitting here being nice. I don't apologize for you. I'm just saying as an, as an example. <laughs> as an example. But I think that down... I'm in- not apologizing for lesbians. There are grumpy ones that I've met. But on a whole, I'm down with the community. I want to go to your parties. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> I know that having me around might ruin the party. <laughs> <laughs> but I yes, there are illegal uh, cat fighting rings. Of course, there are cat they fighting are not rings. common or yes, known of course to be run were. by lesbians. No, not anymore. Yes, because no, now no. because that's when the because the men found it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I will say the yeah. I, I'm just saying down. The, it'd be fun to be amongst a bunch of lesbian gangsters mm-hmm. rolling dice, hanging out with the cats, watching. Uh, I, I'm fucking euphoria. In. And then we had the pink euphoria. And blue I don't know. I don't watch euphoria. I don't know what they watch. Fucking cooking shows. But and yeah, they shit. watch what we watch. Yeah. There's no difference. Glass blowing shows. They're just as grumpy as us, yeah. Eddie. Pottery shows. Lesbians are just as grumpy as us. Golf. They do watch golf. Yeah. Which is why they're grumpy. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut this whole episode. <laughs> You're literally gonna have to cut this whole fucking episode. <laughs> oh, I apologize, to, oh God. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, you see, now we're covered. Yeah, now we're covered. Live from your grave. Um. Now, 
There's another cat story. Oh, yeah? Yeah. There's a bunch of women got attacked by a cougar. Well, this is a great story. <laughs> this is honestly a really, really great story. This one's fucked up. It's fucking badass. Yeah, these four you... ladies got attacked by a cougar. Five. No, we're not well, talking may, about one, Courtney Cox. May... <laughs> we are talking about an actual cat. In Washington State, Um, a wo- one woman was blindsided while riding her bike. There's a bike riding club, and she was blindsided by a cougar who tackled her off of her bike and then started biting her mouth like it was giving her CPR. This shit was fucking scary. So it was trying to kill her. So apparently it is very often that like people know about cougars when they go and they they go on these trails because most of the time the way you can tell by those nipple ball bras they buy from Skims. No, it is an animal. Again, we're, we're, well, I, this I, I keep doesn't doing happen this. often. You, you it are does more, not. You are more like you are a thousand times more likely to get struck by lightning than get attacked by a cougar. Yeah, it's something like twenty attacks happen like over several years because this this happened in Washington State. This happened in Washington State. Yeah, it's only it hasn't happened that often in terms of being attacked by cougars and most like a couple people have died but for the most part they leave us alone yes so this group of women were on a cycling trip and they saw this cougar I guess there were the two mother, cougars so what they're told is that when they see a cougar you're supposed to get big you're supposed to go like ah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah 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 I make them all run bears away. all the same shit some of them some bears right because yes. there's certain bears that'll kill you no matter what like a polar bear will kill you no matter well what. if at that point you're dead anyway <laughs> yes and so they saw the cougar but then it was like it looks like the younger cougar decided to just attack and then went right for her face it she did. chomped in her face she said that like according she could feel the jaws snap breaking her teeth in her mouth and she felt the blood going down her mouth. and yes. but these ladies these like just normal like just straight they attacked this cougar. They fucking do. One of them had like a two inch knife and was just stabbing it a bunch of shit. And they had pinned it down with their bike until for 45 Five minutes. minutes this cougar fight happened. Oh, yeah. They were, this was a long drag out fight. They were yeah. kicking it, punching it in the head. The other one was saying they were trying to stick, but it was like, it's kind of crazy because they said it was clamped down in her face mm-hmm. and they were punching it in the side of the head and they were sticking their fingers in its nostrils and its eyeballs yeah. and it wasn't letting go. So the other lady was like, what's the heaviest thing I could lift? And she found a rock that she estimated yeah. to be about 25 pounds. She said she took all of her strength and she was dropping on the, the cougar's back. Yeah. She tried to get it to and release it and nothing. it still didn't release. Yeah. And then I guess it just got tired. Yeah, I mean, 45 minutes. Also, thank God there was five of them. Well, it released. And then finally when they released, that was when they pinned it to the side using the bikes. They put, yeah. they basically piled the bikes on top of the cougar. And then it was really sad because then they're all crying and stuff. Because, of course, they're all like animal lovers. Oh, I'd None be emotional them, as hell, no man. No one wants to hurt the cougar. Are you kidding me? I'd be so sad. Especially because they had to pin it down while the ranger came and fucking shot it in the back of the head execution they style. They did shoot it right there in front of them. They had to. They had to. This is a problem, Cougar. There's nothing they could do. Well, think one lady put it correct, which is like, I had to choose between myself and the Cougar. Yeah. And I chose myself. Dude, one, while this Cougar had this woman's mouth on, like, in its mouth, another one put her hands in the Cougar's mouth and opened the fucking jaw. Yeah, dude. These this co- shit, this they were not fucking crazy. around. It said, it said, I felt it shifting its teeth like it wanted to bite me too. I said, no, you're not going to get both of us. No, girl, no. And then Anna Teets grabbed her leg. Yeah. Wow. I guess they were right. Lesbians are grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I do love that this woman's name is Teets. <laughs> oh, my God. I, these are, this is one of those where I, I'm proud of these ladies. That I'm one lady so got jacked up. She's fucked up. She's like, these are my friends for life. I mean, her face looks, it's crazy. But that's a hardcore woman now. And guess what she gets to be in charge of now? The quilt group. The quilt group? She's deciding who's doing, if we're doing cabins or if mm-hmm. we're doing dolls with weird faces this year. She's the one who's deciding, are <laughs> I mean, we going to- Definitely gonna... dolls with uh, new faces. Uh, yes. And are we going to go to Albuquerque yeah. this year or are we going to go to Sedona? She's choosing. All right? And you don't get in her way because she almost beat a cougar to death. And if she can't, if that doesn't put her at the top yeah. of the fucking bake sale this week, I don't know what to tell any of y'all. Man, 
this is fucking badass. Shout out to all you ladies for saving your friend. This woman definitely would have died if they weren't there. Oh yeah, they would have ripped it. They were. It was ready to. It eat. was going through her face and throat and shit. It would have fucking killed the shit out of her. And if you know, if Teets and the other ladies didn't get in there, they would have been fucked. And sometimes it takes a pair of Teets <laughs> to save a woman. <laughs> I think that's incredible. And this is really, really, really compelling. And I'm glad that they're all alive. Yeah. All right. Let me see what I got here. I got gross stuff. What time? Oh, how much longer we got? Uh, it's time for mail. Oh, wow. We got to like nothing today. What that's we fine. Talk? We cat news. Cat stuff. We literally had so many other things to talk about today. And we 50 talked about. 50 people were killed in anti-sorcery rituals. We just kind of. We just got to skip past that. We skip past it. I don't believe they skip past that. <laughs> We skip past the story That's of the guy. So, like, good for us. And we're oh just yes, like, no cats. We just talked about cats. Yeah, we and, and not even in a bad way. I think that I want to say we've grown up. Yeah, because we didn't attack cats. We didn't say cats were stupid. With well, this, is me being a, a pro cat. I like cats. I'm fine with cats. I got no problem with cats. No, we didn't even get to the story of the Colorado grocery store employee accused of ejaculating on unsealed food items, and then a child bought a bunch of the stuff that it, that he had splooged all over, and then he got sixteen child sixteen accounts of a like he's going to be a, a sex offender. I mean, of course, you're jerking off on food at a grocery store. Honestly, I don't really understand. That makes you a sex offender. What makes you hard about a sealed bag of cereal? Honestly, I got to smell it to get hard. Oh, so he came on sealed stuff. I thought you said unsealed. I thought it was unsealed. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he's jerking off on like grapefruit and stuff. Yeah. That's good. That's going to ruin it. (laughs) (laughs) I also got reached out to by a listener that was like, I want you to be the first one to know I'm here. I can't tell you that, uh, like where I work or what I do, but I'd like, I, I needed you to know that I'm on the ground floor. And if you want to reach out to somebody about this story, will you like not mention me and say, but like, this is, so you, have you already mentioned them too much? No, 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 not at all. Um, what's the story? Oh, we also never covered We never covered the, um, lewd moviegoer, the guy who jerked off that was found asleep with his dick out. Everyone's talking about that. I just feel like it should be compliments to the chef. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was for the um, the sexy, the sexy lesbian movie. The sexy lesbian movie. I don't know who said that about them being grumpy. I don't know whoever would ever said that. (laughs) I can't believe these people out there are fucking hideous. That would say that. That would say that. Yeah, I can't believe who would who would ever say that. Yeah, I can't even believe that. Love you, people. Thankfully, this incident happened on my day off. As far as I can tell, my coworkers over there that day are more confused than anything and doing well. My dad, mom, and brother are also fans of the show. And in the off chance this would be covered, we would laugh our asses off. So it just let you know that this the person here, we have front people, we have people on the front lines at the Camp Hill Chipotle for the guy, the uh, former manager that just arrived naked. Oh. And he just sat in the booth. Former manager showed up naked? After. He arrived. He became wow. former manager. He was current manager. Oh, when he just showed up naked? He was yeah. probably on drugs or something. I don't know. I imagine that's drugs. <laughs> no. Yeah, you get so hot, you take your clothes off. No, you, you ever had a really great mint? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Sometimes that just drives me up the wall. Okay, so a manager exposed his genitals and masturbated publicly at a Camp Hill Chipotle. Yeah, Chipotle. And then, yeah, we're just saying we got people out there, you know, our front lines. So one of the coworkers hit you up and they're like, yo, my fucking boss jerked off in front of us. Yep. I'll tell you all about it. Yep. And I would say thank you. Yeah. So it's one out of 40 people there ratted out their manager. We would have never known about this. Never have. Never would have known. So, and now I know. And I just want to say. on the show and a million people are going to listen to it. Yes. And I just, you know, that's why I want to reach out to our front line people out there. Everybody always talks about nurses. And we, we No, we talk about it. But the people that work at Chipotle, the people who work at these fast food restaurants, we know yeah. they're heroes mm-hmm. and how hard it is. I'm not a Chipotle guy. No, none of us are. I don't like it. I don't like Chipotle at all. But I still think that they're good people. Oh, and that, that work they there, are for strong. Sure. No, they're they're the workers. strongest of the strong. The oh, people yeah. who work at fast food. My God. Imagine how like, hard the people at Chipotle get screamed at all day, day long. All day long. All day long. And then they, you have your brother. Because then partially thinks that maybe it's because your boss need to blow off steam. Yeah. You know, or maybe he decided I'm going to have it my way today, mm-hmm. which is naked with my dick out. I'm going to touch myself in front of a bunch of customers. Yeah. And again, what do you know as working at Chipotle? Customers always are right. You know where this don't happen? Jersey Mike's. It's hard because there's not a lot of seats. 
<laughs> Jersey Mike's mostly is a takeaway sandwich. So it is not quite. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the, it is, it would be more difficult. Mm -hmm. There you go. So Flutus oral skills. On the last episode of Side Stories, you talked about whether or not Flutus would be particularly adept at cunnilingus. And while I cannot speak to that, I can tell you about my time dating a trumpet player in college. At one point, I had to have a conversation with him, banning him from performing oral on me because he couldn't stop treating my clitoris like a brass instrument. And even I, who played trumpet for like two months in the sixth grade before I quit, could tell that he was using the same tongue motions and it felt too ridiculous after that. Did she feel kind of blue? Do <laughs> 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 you think that's how she came? <laughs> 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 um, we also have to, have to talk. We also have to talk because he was into leaving hickeys, but his insane trumpet mouth muscles meant that half my neck would be bruised to shit so bad that I was mistaken for a victim of domestic abuse on multiple occasions instead of just a lady who was having what was otherwise pretty okay sex with a guy with chronic trumpet mouth. I never understood the hickey thing. I never did either. It hurts. I could never give a hickey because I could never suck hard enough. Really? I gave a hickey upon request once in high school. Yeah. But like, it's just like weird. It's I've just, never, I, I'm not a hickey sense. person. I've never understood the the hickey thing. Yeah. I, I don't know, know why. I don't, Some people like sucking their... on next. I don't like biting. I don't like hurting. I like things to be pleasant and nice. Yeah. I like it to be not, I don't want to be bit. They can feel good, look good, and are a sign of youthful recklessness, according yeah. to BuzzFeed News. I mean, of course it's youthful recklessness. But what do you mean they don't feel good? They hurt. Yeah. I mean, well, they feel Hickeys good can as also they're happening. Be, this is gross. Hickeys can also be a sneaky, fun expression of sexuality for adults. What does that even mean? A sneaky, fun expression. It's not sneaky, fun. Oh, it's you have like, a hickey. Oh, it's like you know, widows are always getting hickeys. Does, <laughs> does this make me? Does this make me a prude? That I, I mean, like I like boobies out. I like to see your butts. I'll see penises and yeah. stuff. Like I like mesh, but I don't want to see. I don't care about hickeys. I also don't care if you have a hickey. I think it's like saying I don't I'm, really it's like want saying one. I'm taken. If you have a hickey, right? Not really. It looks like you got taken yeah, last yeah, night. Yeah. But then the rest of it, it's like, you don't know where the rest of your day is. It is always fun to see someone with a hickey, like, at a, working at a Chipotle or of something. Of course. Yeah, 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 yeah that's, that's funny. Fun. That's... Yeah, because they're making it. You're I like, also oh, see I a hickey. Yeah. It's a, that's a problem for me. Sometimes yeah. if you see a high-powered person with a hickey, looks like they paid a sex worker. Maybe it's just workers. sex worker's not alive anymore. If you're a high-powered person, you have a hickey, wear some makeup. Well, they do. Then why do you have a hickey? If well, you don't I mean, want to show people what the hickey. Well, that's it's someone else marking their territory. That's called a wedding ring. Yeah, well, that, that, it's free. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, tell me about that, brother. <laughs> yeah, we can do That's another fucking side story there, look, friend. Look at this. Hickeys can also be sort of a trophy, a reminder of what you did last night or the night before. Yes, they are, of course. But um, still, yeah, it's for children. Hickeys can help in uh, release endorphins like Oxycontin. You know what else can it in the, in <laughs> release? Oxytocin. Like oxytocin. oxytocin. <laughs> oh. You know what else releases endorphins like oxytocin? Kissing. Having sex. Yeah. Just normal sex. Mm -hmm. I think spanks are bad. I like spanks better than hickeys. Spanks? Like tight underpants? <laughs> That's how I flatten my lines for acting. Yeah. But I'm no, I'm saying the action. <laughs> oh, spanking. Yeah. Spanking, yeah. But I don't even want to be spanked myself. I saw a spank store at the airport. I yeah. was like, what? It helps you want to see compression socks. I do get the compression socks. They're Have you ever tried the these compression masks? <laughs> I've been yeah. using <laughs> No. Oh, and they're great. They're just like fucking <laughs> so close to being dead. Yeah. <laughs> So nice. <laughs> Such a good welcome break. Yeah, it's like Peck of the Snowball. Yeah, right there. He just mash his nose. <laughs> All right, we're getting past hickeys. I, I'm sure we're, already, we're already going to get a lot of email on hickeys. I'm glad you read them. Peeing without a penis happening. It's happening. Um, so ghost story. I got to go. Oh, here we go. Let's I'm here. Go. I've had a wild ride and seen the worst of humanity for fun and profit. But what follows is why I know without question. That ghosts are real. Okay. I'm a divorced dad. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, buddy. <laughs> we'll get there soon. And I had my kids for the weekend at a new apartment. I wake up in a full pull of gun mode in the middle of the night, only to see my five-year-old son sleepwalking and silhouetted in my doorway. I catch my breath and I ask him if everything is okay, thinking he's still asleep. He responds with, 
the little kid in my room won't stop laughing. And I'm instantly on full alert. I laugh nervously and get up to walk him back to his room. As we cross the threshold of his door, every lizard brain danger instinct in my body is fighting harder than I've ever experienced, and it feels like I've walked into a deep freezer. I scooped up his brother, took them to my room, and we sat up wide awake until daybreak. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you were very comforting for them. <laughs> Were you divorced with because you <laughs> jumped to conclusions? <laughs> I like this, though. I'm with you. I'm not a guy who's spooked by bumps in the night. Usually my job is to do the bumping. Oh, come on. What does that mean? This fucking... Because he's saying that he fucks a lot. No, I don't know. Or does he fight? Or is he... Are you a divorced dad that's also a stripper or a gigolo or something like that? Please, side stories, LPOTL to gmail.com. We don't see enough of that. Yeah. You never see single male prostitute with a heart of gold. Yeah. I would love that. Where is that? Where is it up? There needs to be a reversed pretty woman. There are some good male. Funny people. guy. There's a, the Richard Gere movie. I'm No, reverse it. Lady he with the guy. He played American Gigolo. No. Yeah, but that's. Wow, good. he was in both of them. Whoa. I didn't think about that. But Crazy. still, yeah, wow. <laughs> but still, I like this. Like, let a man be treated nice. You know what I mean? Take him out to the mall. See what it fits in his body. I don't know. This guy seems like this is the last time he's going to hang out with his kids. I like this. I like this. But this had me shaking. Flash forward a month or so. I'm taking the trash out, and the maintenance guy rolls up in his golf cart. And he asks if I want to have a beer. Not something I'd normally do, but there seemed to be something familiar behind his dead eyes. <laughs> yeah, I love this guy. I love this guy. Yada, yada, he's a retired detective. And we swap fucked up life encounters. Drank a case of Bud Heavies and smoked cheap cigars. I get up to excuse myself for the evening and the real ass gets blurted out. Hey, do you mind if my wife comes to look around your place? Confusion, goosebumps, uh, what? I replied. Turns out, her son is incarcerated along with his girlfriend because the girlfriend's child, age three, died under unusual abusive circumstances in my apartment, specifically what is now my kid's room. Yeah, sure, thanks, whatever, I said. I fumbled as I raced home to Google that shit. And there it was, all confirmed. I haven't looked at things the same way again. That's very interesting. It is interesting. I'm I love sorry that. I made fun of you, buddy. It's like part no, of my no. job. No, no, he loves it. Yeah. They like it. Yeah. You know what I mean? When it comes to do it, we'll, we'll, we'll all suck down beers together. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I love the idea of getting to know your maintenance guy because that's how you get leverage. Yeah, absolutely. And now, if you don't tip him, he's never going to bring beers back. No, you're going to have to. Now you're locked in for a Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. You're locked in for a Thanksgiving mention. And that's fine. You just keep that up. Yeah. Um, sorry about your haunted room. I think it's awesome. So, congrats. Good yeah. work. Did you ever think about shaving a cat, throwing it in there, see what happens? So, come on. Let's try something new. <laughs> Be British for a while. <laughs> it's every day. Love the fact that when I go and I look at my dogs, I know if anybody's shaving them, it's me. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. And I laugh. Just thinking about someone coming to try to shave their dogs against their will, right? Just thinking about what it'd be like, because I know what the Wendy and Carmi might do. Just let them do it. Oh, my God. Like a full clockwork orange situation, but they just shave your animals. <laughs> <laughs> we're going we're gonna to live knowing that that soon is going to be real. Try the wine. It's going to happen. <laughs> we're going to make it. Gonna make and thank God we we learned a lot today. <laughs> what a great episode! If you want to see us talk about and discover why lesbians are grumpy, go to <laughs> patreoncom slash last podcast on the left, and you're gonna want to go and check out TikTok at LP on the left. It's almost gone, baby. We might not have to plug this for very much longer. We'll find out. Hopefully what? soon. What? You're just going to eliminate the TikTok because no one cares? No, TikTok is, might be going away. Oh, TikTok might be going away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I bye heard bye. about that. Bye-bye. We'll see what happens. Uh, if you want to go see our show, we do it on Twitch, twitch.tv slash LPNTV. It's a lot of fun. Um, mm. And if you want to go out there and see us live, we have, we're, going to have, we're going to have a brand new live show. I'm really excited for this. It's going to be amazing. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have some, just so you know, like on the lookout, we're going to have some tryout shows in LA, kind of like we've done in the past. So those will be coming out. We're going to be doing a little bit of a run up. We're going to be doing some fun special events. Look, we're going to look out for that. Not allowed to say it yet because none of it has been confirmed, but it is on its way. But go and check out JK Ultra, the tour on lastpodcastontheleft.com. You can go to those live shows and go hit it up. We're going to be in your area. It's going to be fun. 
Yeah, I can't wait to get the road with you guys. And also just to write some new material with you, buddy. It's, it's been be so fun. long. I'm so happy to be doing this shit. What do you think we did today? This was Riff. It was Riff City. What are you talking about? Each moment of this show is, is so highly You're prepared. right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I gave away the soup. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, no. We- Nothing's in front. <laughs> Everything's been scripted. Um, I get a Putin's guy sends me a script each week. Yeah, he's got... Two kids, one's in a haunted bedroom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Love I, this guy. New um new brighter side, brighter side stories. Yes. Every Wednesday coming out, you get done with this. Go ahead and go over listen and to listen the to brighter side stories. Uh every Wednesday it's gonna start coming out. That's Amber Nelson and I um giving like a shorter episode where we go over some of the week's good news. And things that made us happy this week. I love that. Yeah, it was a nice short, like 30 minute episodes. It'll be fun. I love it. And then this Saturday, Tallahassee, Florida. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're going yeah, to Tallahassee. Tallahassee. Yeah, I'm doing it, baby. This Saturday, 8 p.m., uh, the 23rd of March. Go to Latter-day Night Fever at Bird's Aphrodisiac Oyster Shack. <laughs> I am so excited to get sick on go, oysters. Go blow up this show. It Seriously, is, if yeah, you're in the Florida it's a area. free show. No one has any idea that he's I'm coming. I'm hosting now. The guy who... What? I'm the host. You now. got promoted to the host. I got promoted to host. What? No, that's a demotion. Well, you I went mean, from headliner. No, I was never the headliner. John Strickland's always been the headliner. It's his birthday. He's gonna fucking crush it. Got it. All right. And then Do I you know I, John Strickland. I have no idea who these people. Are. Okay, good, good, good. This is go and <laughs> blow up this show. Yeah. Go show up it's at got a Bird's big, got Aphrodisiac a, Oyster Shack. It's a, got a big pink sign. Our boy Evan Rossi did a set there last week. He said it was awesome. Oh, great. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Comedian Mitch is also on the show. Nothing I like better than finding out what you are with just your name. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't wait to host this show. We're going to have so much fun. And uh, just come hang out with me. I'll give you a brighter side sticker. And uh, Maybe. Maybe, if I remember to put it in my luggage. Yeah. But um, I love you guys. Uh, this has been so much fun. Hail Satan. Hail Satan again. Hail Thank Tallahassee. You. Yeah, sure. Fuck yeah, dude. I, I guess it's fine. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. To Just give me funny. And tell me, honestly, go to Gordo's and tell me how. I'm I'm gonna, I heard Gordo's dropped off, but I'm going to go test it out anyway. Yeah, tell me now. And Is then, Guthrie still there? Guthrie's might be gone, um, but um, King's Barbecue is still there. Ooh. And so is the Leon Pub. So you might catch me at those places. All right, cool. Sweet. All right. Well, see you next week, fuckers. Goodbye. This show is made possible by listeners like you. Thanks to our ad sponsors, you can support our shows by supporting them. For more shows like the one you just listened to, go to lastpodcastnetwork.com.